Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. I'm not going to lie to you, I've been sitting here for like a good five minutes just rocking out to this music. Anyway, so last time we discovered more of Laguna's history, then we found ourselves locked up in the D District prison, which is where we are now. We busted on out with Zell, Selfie, and Quistis, got our weapons, defeated Biggs and Wedge yet again, and now we're going to go save school, assumably up. However, I believe we can go down now and maybe go in some of the cells and get some items and things which were previously locked. Probably gonna be a bunch of jump cuts here at the beginning, uh, just because running in circles around the floors is kind of boring. Speaking of, which, speaking of which, may as well start there now. Can we go in this one? I thought we could go in the cells now. Maybe it's only specific ones I don't really remember. But anyway, school is being tortured by Sifa, so that's what we gotta go do. We gotta go save his bacon. Oh my god, the bloody music! I'm not kidding, I was legitimately just rocking out to this. Because uh, whenever I record, I have to... Basically, I record... I, I'm sure some people don't give a shit about this, but hey, some of you might. I record my audio from my mic separately from the game audio. So that way I can balance it as I wish. Uh, so the reason uh, I was rocking out for five minutes is because... Hello, buddy. We'll speak to you in a second. But let me just finish my thought here. Uh, basically, the reason I was rocking out is because uh, to line up the audio, I tend to just hum in tune with the music. So that way, you know, when I'm humming actually in tune, I know I've lined it up properly. Stuff like that. But yeah, anyway. So, who the hell are you? Escape? Still got fresh legs, huh? I'll stay here. I don't want to die. By the way, you want to play some cards? I'm so bored. I'll give you something if you win. But you don't get anything for free here. Give you a discount, though. How about 500 gil per get? Holy shit. All right, man. Let's do it. So we get something. Oh, the direct roll. Ugh. Ah. Well, I guess I did just load the game. Um... If it's the direct rule, I don't want to lose any of my good cards, so basically, I'm going to play with like the non-rare ones, because I don't really care if we lose these. So, we'll go with that logic, I guess, and I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put this here, instead of using Biggs and Witch. Okay. So we have absolutely no way of taking you whatsoever. Touche, sir. Touche. In that case, we'll put this here. We're probably going to play this guy once. I just want to win whatever the hell he gives you. Hello. I didn't know you had the Raijin of Fujin card. Did I know this? I don't think I knew this. That is a rare card. Shit. And if this is the direct rule, we can't... Wait, is that a rare card? It must be, because it's got like a little gold border around it. I remember... Here's the thing. I remember that there was a Raijin of Fujin card... I didn't, however, remember that it was rare. I thought it was kind of like the Elm Oil. Oh, yeah, Elm Oil. I got the name right. I thought it was kind of like that, like a boss card, but not rare. But apparently, well, anyway. Um, and again, you can uh, basically the director will. If we turn it blue, we get that. So they get Biggs and Wedge now, and there ain't shit we can do about that. <laughs> um, well, all right then. We might be able to take them back here. Yes, we can. So we get a draw. But again, it means we're not going to get that card. And we lost one of our decent cards for a shit one. But again, uh, so I guess we will play him more than once, because A, we lost, and B, we want to uh, we want to win that card. Well, it's going to get a little difficult to uh, win with these cards. What the hell is that? Gero Jero? That also seems to have a gold border. The border's definitely a different card to... Maybe it's just because of the... I don't bloody know. Maybe it's not rare, maybe it's just because of, um... Maybe it's like see-through, so maybe... Well, anyway, let's put something down and see if that changes the color of our, our border, and then we'll know, I guess? No. Okay, so maybe these aren't rare cards exactly, but they're probably, like, very high-level boss cards, I suppose? Because I think all of these are bosses, from what I remember. Which means we're going to have to play them with, like, a better deck than we have, because apparently he's got some serious shit going on here. Uh, but again, with the direct rule, it means if we lose a rare card, like he turns it over, he keeps that. So we've got to be very careful with our rare stuff. Alright. I mean, we can do this, but... It ain't gonna be easy, you know? Probably gonna take that from the left. Did not. So if we do this, we will win, but we won't be able to take anything good. Yeah. Alright. Here you go. And we got a remedy. Alright, well, it wasn't worth it. But, um, since the guy does have some good cards, we'll try with our rare ones... I don't want to spend forever doing this, but we'll try our rare ones and just see if we can win a couple of the good ones, I guess. Uh, they probably won't pull any out now. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's do this. You shouldn't be able to take it. Now, if it's not rare, then it's probably not going to have anything above an 8. Um, that's probably the bigs and which that you took from me. Um, 
you could technically take... It's really annoying not being able to see his cards. I'm going to do this. He might be able to take care of us. If he does, it sucks. Uh, I guess this is a decent place to use this, I suppose. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put it here. Same. Oh. I realize the same rule was part of this. Apparently so. Alright, um, and then we do that, and then a uh, best they can take care of us, which I don't want them to. Okay, they didn't. It's not even using any good cards now. At least we got back Biggs and Wedge. Again, we'll play them a couple of times. Oh, that's right, it gives you different things. Hmm. But yeah, we'll play them a couple of times just to uh, try and get our hands on some of them, because it could be handy. And they probably morph into good shits. But again, I don't want to spend a whole episode doing this. Now, of course, he won't bring out anything good. You can just tell. Ah, so that's another boss card. That's the Iguion. Uh, we fought those. Uh, they were attacking Renoa, you know, in Delling City or wherever the hell we were. It was Delling City, right? I don't know. Yeah. Um, and we drew Carbuncle from them. Uh, so, with the same rule, I'm going to put this down here because it's a two on a two, and I want to see what the same rule does here. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. Clearly, I don't really understand the same rule. Um. Hmm, I mean, I could do this, but we really risk Zell doing that, so I'm going to play safe. And there's that, which we cannot take. You son of a bitch. And we... Have any of us taken any cards? I mean, I guess we took that and you took it back. Ah, oh, it sucks. We can take it with this. And then he might... Okay, no, good. So we got a decent card. All right, let's play one more time, try and win something else. I should really probably save between these matches. I'm not going to, though. I'm just going to hope I don't fuck it up. But yeah, this will be the last game, or at least... The next time we get a decent card will be the last game, if this one sucks. All right, so we'll go with this. Could have put uh, Minotaur or whatever his name is down the bottom right. Um, really, really risky to put Keros there, because there's no way we can take him back if he takes him, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to play it safe. I hate the direct roll, like I really do. Uh, this is really risky to put Zell there. Shit. I guess I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go safe. You gotta play safe with the direct roll, man, it's fucking annoying. Um, this one's a lot less risky. We, well, no, hmm. Shit. See, like, I can take this, but he's obviously gonna take it back with that. Well, no, I guess we'll take two cards with that. Like, we'll definitely win, but... We ain't gonna get anything good, because he hasn't played anything good. Yeah. Alright. One more game. One more game, I swear. I swear, I'm not addicted, I swear. Alright. Zell, Christus, you. And then Minotaur. Minotaur, Minotaur. Ah. Uh, sure, we'll try this corner this time. Alright. It's a crap card. Guess we'll just take that whilst it's open. Kinda wanna win that... Gregor thing or whatever the hell. I've already forgotten the name. I kind of want to win that thing. Um, hmm. This one's really freaking risky. Ah, shit. Might be better to do this because they're less likely to take it. Ah, alright, I'm going to do it. Please don't have an 8 on the left. Woo, that was a little scary. Um, still risky as shit. Still risky as shit. If we put this here, I, d I don't trust them not to take it. So I say we just go defensive and do that. And at least we cover our Kiros there. Okay, so we got a draw and... Oh, no, actually, we won. The winning doesn't seem to really matter with the direct draw. All right, fucking. That'll do for now. Guy's got some good cards. Probably should play him more. Maybe we can come back. I don't really know. It wouldn't surprise me if we can't because he seems almost like an Easter egg kind of thing. Maybe I could play them off screen or something. Things I just don't really want to start the episode with, like, you know, 30 minutes of cards. Because I could easily sit there and play 30 minutes of cards, you know? It's it's well within my capability. Now, what's in here? Uh, weird box. Hey, there's a box! Receive tent. Right, now, I have a, a guide up here just so I make sure I don't miss things. It says, there's a cottage, a tent, uh, another book. It's a different one that we haven't seen yet, I think. I'll go in there. A rename card, which is what allows you to rename Angelo the dog, aka Dave. A strength up and a luck up. Now, I don't remember stat upgrades. Well, actually, maybe I do. I think you can mod some of the rare cards into them in the late game. Well, in the early game as well, but if you do it in the late game, you can mod it and then win it back, so you could end up, like, maxing out your stats like that, but it takes fucking forever. 
something like that. But I don't remember being able to pick them up as like regular items, but apparently there's some around here, so let's see what we can find. Got a pet house. It does not say pet house on here. What the hell is that? <laughs> let's have a look. Um, still so HP to GFs. That's not listed on here. This guide is terrible. It's from IGN, by the way. Fuck you, IGN. Zero out of ten. Too much water, etc., etc. You get the memes. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it's it's disconcerting when something's not even listed on the fucking guide. You know, for I mean, it would be a little bit more understandable if the game was new. It's like ten years old, probably more. Well, no, it's got to be more than that. It came like two thousand. It's like 15, 16 years old. Pet name tag. Okay, well, there's the name tag. I'm seeing a theme here with boxes just being in the cells. It always seems like we can't go in this cell here. Never mind, then. Never mind. Oh, hello. Well, this is the strength up. Let's have a look. Probably want to use that on school, I would guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess he's really the only guy. We're not going to be, like, you know, uh, switching out constantly. We'll keep it for now, just in case I change my mind. Luck up. I don't really remember what luck does in this game. Like at all. It might affect, like, your critical hit chance. I don't really know what else it could do. Maybe your chance of drawing more magic, some stuff like that. I don't really know. Uh, I doubt it affects drops, because surely that would be, like, a party-based thing as opposed to per character. I have no idea. Anyway, let's make a quick save here, since we did win some shit. And, uh, carry on our magical journey down the Pyramid of Doom. And by pyramid, I mean, uh, you know... Spherical staircases of doom, which aren't pyramid shaped at all. I've just woken up. What do you want from me? Wait, 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 wait. That was a book on the floor I almost missed, wasn't it? Just spoil that as I left the cell. Yeah. So the book we're looking for? Yes, Comet King 01. I think there are like three of these, and I don't remember what they do. They might be for like Zell or something? Yeah, they totally are. Okay, so I think they teach Zell new moves. Do you guys know what a dolphin is? It's teach it teaches us dolphin blow. It's an adorable gray mammal that lives on the in the ocean. This skill called the Dolphin Blow draws out the secret power of the dolphin. It'll give the enemy a hell of a show. That rhymes. Study the skill carefully. Remember, always use it for a good cause, okay? Button 5, button 6, button 5, button 6. Problem is, you don't know what they are. So, I mean, we got it. That's good. But, uh, alright, so what else do we need? Lock up. That's about it here. And I guess the cottage, but I don't really care about that. I think cottage is just like, um... If I remember correctly, basically, it's like a, a pet house and a Wait, we're on the bottom floor? Oh, I guess so. I think it's like a pet house and a tent all in one. So it like revives and restores your GSHP as well as your characters. So, nothing special. Anyway, I guess uh, I'll cut out the trip until we get back up to where we were. Okay, we're back where we started. Let's carry on going up and see what we can find up here. This is where I believe we beat Biggs and Wedge. So let's check out the cells, because I don't think they were open last time. Or at least, if they were, we didn't go in. I don't see anything. Maybe we did go in here? I don't remember. Why would that cell be empty otherwise? It's kind of weird. And we can't go in that one. Okay. Well, anyway, actually... No, we are on floor 7, right? Because 7, I think, is where we fought them. So this should be new ground that we haven't seen yet. I think so. So we can go around to the left, but I don't think there's any point, because there never really seems to be anything around there, because all the floors are basically the same. There's another guy here. Are you also a card dude? How do I know? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm also a Balam Guarded student. Oh, but I can't give you any info. I'm working for Galbadia Garden. Galbadia right now. I'm not supposed to do this, but I wanted to see you all with my own eyes. Hey, you need any items? You'll have to pay for them, of course. So he's a store? Alright. Uh, do we need any of this? Hmm. Good question. Let's just round this stuff up. Uh, you get two of those. Get like another ten of these, I guess. Things down, it's got like three antidotes. Show sure, around all these up to ten. Because I am OCD, plus it just seems like a good idea to keep at least, you know, ten of all the uh, restorative things. Don't care about G potions, G returners. Let's see if we can play cards with them. Nope, no, we can't. Frankly, it's probably for the best, and he's just called Man from Garden. Well, alright then. Really don't remember much about this prison. I just remember running around in circles again and again and again. It's weird that sometimes there are barricades up here. Also, before I forget, I should unjunction uh, encounter none. Because again, we might find some new monsters around here that could be interesting, give us drops we need. We might be able to drop magic we want. I thought I'd just leave on encounter none whilst we went back, you know, back down the spirally staircase. Otherwise, it gets a little bit overbearing. Now it's in here. Ah, oh, draw points. 
Berserk. Right, so if anyone doesn't know Berserk, um, basically makes the enemy unable to do anything but use a physical attack. But I think it like doubles their strength or something. So, uh, you know, if they're like a magic user or whatever, it's a good idea. But if they're like a physical dude, like if someone casts it on Zell, Zell's just gonna be probably punching anyway, unless we wanted to summon or something. But for the sake of argument, he is quite a hard physical hitter. So if someone used Berserk on him, they'd, for the most part, be doing me a favor. So you gotta be careful who you use it on, but in the right situation, it can be very good. You are another fella. Hello. Oh, you got a battle meter. Are you a mercenary or something? If you win this game, I'll add something special to that thing for you, but a charge 300 gil per game. I'm guessing you're a card person. Apparently so. Weird. All right. So we gotta be careful again with um, not losing our freaking cards. Sons of bitches. Why am I always going first as well? It's lame. No! Oh my god. Fuck everything. I did not mean to do that. We can take it back, but it's real goddamn risky. Why did I do that? Alright, we gotta cover Zell's ass. That was really bad. I completely just misclicked. Um, yes, you seem like the best person to be using here. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Now we're in the hole. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I mean, I can take you, but you can probably take me back. Hmm. I'm gonna go defensive. I'd rather just win. Okie dokie. So no one gets anything. That's fine. That happened because we fucked up clicking in the wrong place. That's okay. It happens, man. Alright, don't do it again. G good. I was gonna say, can you go first? Right. Uh, this seems like the play to be doing here. Probably take it back. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Um, I don't want to leave Zell open. And the only other one that's even slightly safe is Kuros, but that's also a six. So we're gonna go defensive and put him in the right goddamn place this time. We probably won't rematch this guy. We'll just try and win the one game to get the upgrade to the battle meter, whatever the hell that does. I don't really remember. Err. Uh, eh. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, bollocks. Shit. I don't know where to put things. This is not good. Hmm. We gotta go with like a, a six, really. <sighs> Alright. Is there somewhere I can put. Well, no, I think. Ah, god damn it. I guess I can do. No, that's not gonna work. Shit. Alright, uh, we have to just hope that they don't take it. Don't take it. Woo, a little scary. Alright, we win. Pidogi! Got a bunch of crap, don't care. Points, we got the upgrade. Okay, I promise is a promise. Let me see that battle mirror. Just move this part around. There you go. Now you can look at even more detailed records. I'm guessing it's going to be in, like, the tutorial section. It's battle operations. I don't know where... I, I don't know. I don't know where that is, but we got it. I really don't know where that is. I remember getting the upgrade. Like, there's vague memories of that happening. I just don't remember what it does. I probably used to know. Ooh, another save point. Don't mind if I do. I like that they, you know, are not exactly sparing with the save points, which is handy in a game where you can't just save anywhere, like Fallout or something, so... Yeah, I appreciate that. They could have gone, you know, the Dark Souls route. Not that bonfires are save points, but they're pretty fucking similar in the concept of what they do. Could have gone with, like, the whole Dark... Oh, hello, buddy. Could have gone with the whole Dark Souls one thing and just put them, like, nowhere. Draw a hey, slow. Hmm... Haste is a really good thing to have. I'm gonna... Ah, uh, we can't even... We don't even have a good success rate with drawing it. If we did, I'd be more inclined to draw like 9... I'm gonna speed up this battle for a second here. If we did, I'd be more inclined to draw... More inclined to draw a hundred of them on each character. Maybe I'll do that anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try and draw a uh, hundred of all of these. It's boring. It'll take a few minutes. We got one. Fuck you. Oh, and then again, at this rate, you know what? At this rate, I ain't gonna do it. Let's do one more round, and then we'll just kick this guy's ass, because drawing like one at a time and failing occasionally, it's gonna take far too friggin' long. Alright, so uh, you're a robot, so you're probably gonna be weak to electricity. So let's give you a Quesicotl. And, I mean, if it's alright, but hopefully Quesicotl will do the job, and we'll just use physical attacks on these two. Damn! It wasn't bad. It wasn't as much as I thought it would be. It's still alive. Yeah, usually when you get like one enemy like this, they're just tanky as hell. Like if they don't come in a pack, they're probably kind of tough. 
We still do that much damage. Um, let's give him... For some reason, I feel like he's gonna be weak to Earth. So we'll use Brothers and then fuck it, air for it if he survives that. And you can, you can whip it. Whip it real good. Please die now, my good man. He don't seem to be dead. Nope, he's very much alive. God diggity damn it. What the hell? Oh, finally! Jesus! Okay, good, we didn't have to sit through Ifrit. Or rather, I didn't. Okay, we leveled up on Zell. Fuel. Got fuel for a car? I mean, I guess it was a robot, but alright. I'll take it, I suppose. Don't know what that enemy was called. I mean, there must be a card of it, because there's a card of everything in the game, I'm pretty sure. Like, literally everything. Like, every boss. Actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. There's there's at least one I can think of that I don't really want to go into too much detail about because it's kind of spoilerific somewhat. Thundergear, I'll take that, put it on Zell, I guess. I think he's the equivalent of Squall in this situation? I don't remember. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Okay, let's check out this cell if we can. We can. More car people, oh dear god. Hello, buddy. Hey, you guys, I'm really bored. Wanna play a car game with me? I'll give you something if you win, but I'll have to charge you for the game. Only fair, right? How about 200 gold per game? What is with everyone around here being obsessed with bloody cards? What's with the direct rule as well? It's fucking annoying. I mean, I know the direct rule is like a regional thing, so they're all gonna have it, but still, I hate you. Oh my god, I hate you even more now. If you have a good card, at least let me take it. That is not a good card, my friend. Um, I could go here. Yeah, let's do that. See, now we'll see how out of sync my audio is. Uh, we got a win, right? So this should be good, I would think. You can probably take it back, but it's chances that we can take it. Oh, well, touche. Suck it. Suck it down. Yeah, I'll take those crappy cards. Yeah, just as I promised. We got a remedy. Okay. So just a way of playing cards, but also winning, like, potions and shit at the same time. Which is pretty good, especially for that first dude that we were against who seemed to have some amazing cards. I do not know how many floors are in this place. But I, as I mentioned, I think, last episode, I remember this place being kind of tedious because of all of just... I mean, it's one of the laziest areas in the game, let's be honest here. It's just copy-paste, like, everything is exactly the fucking same. Until probably we get to the top. I mean, at least there's some stuff to do in some of the cells, but, like, holy crap. Not my favorite area. Maybe my least favorite. Oh, we have a car to that guy. Also a robot, who appears to have a halo. Yo, I found the seeds. Who says that? What kind of, what kind of army man says yo? Oh my god. You put Selfie to sleep. Punch Selfie. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's beat up these dudes, and then we'll see what this big fella in the middle has that we might want. Might kill him in like two hits. Yes. Well, it's not like what she did was wasted, because we got to take him down afterwards anyway. Unless we turn him into a card, but we don't have the card ability right now, and even then you need to weaken them. Estuna? Hmm. Let's see what our success... I was going to say, I didn't think we'd have a good success rate drawing that. It's definitely worth grabbing a few of them, so I'm going to speed up the fights and just see if we can get... Like, uh, just a couple for, like, emergencies, because it's a fucking handy spell. But I'm not going to bother to draw 100 right now. This is something that... Frankly, if I was playing off-screen, I probably would, even though it'd be boring as shit and it would take forever because our success rate isn't great. And as you can see, when you have a low success rate, even when you do draw them, you tend to draw like two or something. So, to get 100 takes fucking forever. But as long as we've got a few on each character, it's good enough so we can actually use them in, emer in an emergency. And then a bit later on in the game, when we're high level or whatever requirement you need to make drawing the high level spells easier, we can then go and grab 100 much quicker, so we'll do it then. Of course, the disadvantage of that is, if we did it now, that was such a weak attack. If we did it now, it would make us a lot more powerful a lot earlier on, but we're doing fine, so I don't think it'll be a huge deal. And this might be somewhere we can come back to, but if we can, the enemies might not be here, because, you know, they're here because it's on the left, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Either way, let's, uh, let's grab out this guy, Ifrit. Uh, we'll go with Brothers again, because Siren's Cramp Carbuncle is just defensive, and Quezacottle. Now you can die! Holy shit! Ifrit's like our trump card. He re well, I mean, I guess he was our first GF, so he's the highest level, at least he should be. Well, like, uh, damn. That reminds me, I do need to check what our GFs are learning, because I don't think I've checked that in a while, so they're probably learning a bunch of weird shits. Um, I'm fine with you learning that. 
you are learning some of magic damage, which is going to make you stronger, so I'm also fine with that. You are learning strength plus 40, I'm also fine with that. You, I would like to learn treatments. Now, I don't remember exactly what this does, but I think it's like an equipable thing you can use in battle. So like these, like you can equip it and use it. And I think it's free, and it might basically be Asuna. I think. So like, infinite, unlimited, free Asuna. I think, if that's what I'm, you know, remembering. I don't know. You can learn Spirit Junction, even though, again, I don't really remember what Spirit is. Maybe I'll look that up at some point. You all learn Entire Magic Refine, that seems fine. HP Junction also fine. Okay, good. You're all learning good shit. Uh, someone's nearly dead, aren't they? Yeah, Quist is very much so. In fact, pretty much everyone. Uh, let's just give everyone a High Potion. Zell, Quist is, and Selfie. Good enough. They're not, like, full HP, but close, I think. Okay. Oh, thank fuck. I was about to complain. Oh, they can unlock everything here. Hmm. Yet you do- Where the hell are we- Shoot, the hatch is closed. Doesn't look like there's any more cells above. I am okay with this, quite frankly. Though still, we're missing a lockup, apparently. According to this, uh, and a cottage, according to this guide. We went in every cell, and we tried all the other ones, so I don't know what's up with that, but... Maybe it's up above us or something? Or wherever the hell this goes? It looks like it goes down. Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. Hey! Squall! Wake up! Come on, Squall. I'm fine. I am shopping. Ketchup? Ketchup. Kits, sorry. You okay? It was hell. Let's just get the hell out of here. Catch! Laguna! Laguna! Laguna? Yeah. So first of all, love the music. We saved school. Badass. Uh, but yes, you notice the, uh, the Moomba seems to think we're a Laguna, or at least is saying that to us. Make shortcut floor where? I don't know what that means. Oh. Uh oh. I, would, uh, psh, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Let's just get the hell out of here. Alright. Uh, what do you have to say? Thank goodness you're alright. Let's go. School, are you alright? What does he mean make shortcuts? Where do I even go? How do I leave? Over here, maybe? Hello? How do I leave the screen? I'm not like owning you, little dick. Didn't you come here as Laguna in the dream world? No. So Squall doesn't know how to get out either. Well, either way, we kept going and up, up and up. Wait, we kept going up and up. Oh, I see, never mind. I think we better head back down. It'd be a pain to go down every floor. The alarm alerted monsters and security guards everywhere. By the way, how the hell did they carry you up here, Squall? That big lift thing there. Whoa, what's that? It's like a crane that can carry a detachable cell from downstairs. Oh, so this big hole goes all the way to the bottom. So if we jump all the way down, we're out of here. Go ahead if you want to be squashed like a pancake. You dunce. Oh yeah, I remember now. We can move this arm by using the panel above and the control room. I remember Ward doing this. But we need to operate them both at the same time. Oh lovely. Someone needs to stay upstairs and control the panel. Uh-huh. Oh, it's him. Me? Fine. I'll give you instructions from upstairs. Everyone get inside. So, this is the arm control room. Yo, can you guys hear me? Hi, Yazelle, loud and clear. Oh, I'm Selfie. So what do we do? Press the red button on the main panel. Yes, the red button. This this button? I'll take care of the rest. There. I expected that we'd have to actually time that. Like in Final Fantasy VII where there's that part, and I think it's like Tifa, Barrett, and Cloud will have to hit like this control panel at the same time, something like that. Hey, so what are we going to do now? 
Well, there's a door over there. And? Let's check it out. Okay. Little concerned that we don't have this luck upgrade yet, but fuck it. Maybe we have to come back or something? Sand? Buried? You mean we're underground? In any case, we can't get out from here. What was that? Gunfire? Sounds pretty bad. Zell! Let's go back, quick! Here I come to save the day! There he is, over there! Seize the escapee, dead or alive, cause I want it! Want it! Dead or alive! Tch, too many, I'm out of here. Dun, 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 dun. I just run, just supposed to run away from the gods that are following you, bollocks. God damn it. Alright then. Yo, offense! Yeah, alright, you already said that. You, uh, why would you do it? Why would you do it? I have one person. Oh, no, person. Oh, come on. Come, come. Just, just hit a brother so I can wake up, you know? Can I run away? Nope. I didn't think it would work whilst asleep. Might not even work at all, because these are not random exactly battles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my. oh this is gonna be so You know what? Fast forward. Let's just speed this fight the fuck up. Wake me up. Boy, you go, go. Please kill him. Oh my god. Really? Three hits to kill one dude? Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. No, here's the problem. I was gonna say, we should be, um... I should be summoning, just to wipe them out quickly, but... Pretty sure if you get put to sleep in the middle of the summon animation, it just entirely cancels the summon animation. So, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we'll just speed up the fight, because goddamn. Okay, it's down, all right? Unspeed up the fight so I can actually run. Yes, yeah, so I also remember this part being a little bit annoying. Again, definitely not my favorite part of the game, but it is what it is. That's so how God's gonna send people after us, must control character properly. Go! Okay. Run, you son. What the hell? Ugh! You bastard! <laughs> Didn't think he'd go down that easy. Squall! Thanks, man! But what? Let go! I said let go! Squall! Zill! Can we have a four-person party now? I'm glad you're alright. Squall, why did you go on your own? Is Zelda important to you? He's my- oh god! E ah! He's my bae. As the kids say. There's no way we can get out of here. Arr! What a negative Nancy, man. Oh look at we- I forgot about him, I'll be honest with you. The advantages of having a gun. Come on! Stop trying to act so cool. Gee, if only you had agreed with me earlier, we wouldn't be in this mess. Squall! Squall's alive. I knew he would be okay. Squall's okay! Yeah! Renoa, you're alright. Uh-huh. Of course! Courtesy of my escort. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, my father pulled some strings with the military. He told them to get me and only me out. Then, so this guy here. He came and got me, just me, knowing you were all captured. Ah, uh, that's... isn't that horrible? Alright, alright. I said I was sorry. That's why I'm here to help. After I scratched you to death. Uh... Anyhow, now's our chance. The basement door is buried in sand. Of course it is. This place is buried underground. Buried? Mm, that's right. This prison is. There they are. It's the escapees. Wiki wah wah. Wiki wah wah. -wa. Sorry. G Squall. No, I almost said Jim. You choose two more party members and head on up. I'll hold them here. Up? Don't have time to explain now. The exit's up there, trust me. Okay. I think I know the way. Let us have a zeal. And then junction exchange you... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, very confused. Junction exchange you... Yeah, sure, and then 
You take, uh, selfies? And then you take uh, hers? Hopefully that works? I don't fucking... This game's confusing. My turn to boogie now. Yes, yeah, so he just said that. Okay, let's check to make sure people have things. You do indeed. Lovely. Junction magic. Wait, wait, wait. Auto to attack. Auto to attack. Oh man, you are low on magic. Low a shit. Alright, that's a problem. Uh, auto to attack. Okay. Um. So, hang on a minute. Let's have a look at that magic. So she, yeah, she's got bugger all. Are the other two okay? No, Squall also has bugger all magic. As does Cell? What the hell? Where's all my magic? Oh. Uh, exchange all and you can give that to like school, I guess. Wait, what? Select members of Wait, what? You receive magic. Oh yeah, okay. From, I suppose, Quistis for a start. And does, does he have, does he have it now? Okay. And then you can take the magic from him. And then, who's the other one? Renoa. You can take it from Sophia, I guess, probably has the rest of the magic. Yes. Okay. And then Junction. Auto attack. Auto attack. Auto attack. Let's check the abilities. Okay, good. It does keep the abilities. All right, so that should be fine. Um, they kind of need to use, like, a tent or something. Let's just use... First of all, because I'm real fucking lazy... Let's put an encounter none, because frankly, I think we've probably fought just about all the enemies in here. I doubt there's too many more. Uh, so let's just do this. There we go. Alright, good. So wait, where are we going now? Are we going up or down? Shit, why don't I know? Uh, maybe up? It looked like we came from down, right? So surely we're going up. Like, I don't know. Um... I guess I'll cut this out unless something happens, because we've already been running along here, so yeah, I'll make a quick cut here, unless something happens before we get back to where we were. Plus again, I don't even know if we should be going up, so that's a thing. Okay. Oh man, this is endless. Hey, what do we do? Hmm. I got an idea. Can we go up again with the arm? Hey, good idea. Apparently they're finding stormtroopers, but you have to operate it from the control room upstairs. Leave that to me. All right, let's head to the top floor where the arm stops. Oh, great. You sons of bitches. I just done equipped all these dicks. Oh my god. All right, fuck it. Again, oh, wait, wait, wait. We can go through here. Again, I'll cut it out unless something got no sense. Gonna... You just said go... Well, you didn't say top floor, you said go to the floor where the arm is. I don't know where the fucking arm is, but apparently it's not up, so... I guess we're going down. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to equip everyone with what we just changed, because I just can't be bothered, quite frankly. I'm going to save here, though, just in case we end up dying because we're not equipped. Hopefully we'll be fine. And of course, we don't have Encounter None now, so... That also could present a problem. Oh my god. Again, I'll cut out the uh, running around until we get back down to wherever the hell we're going. Alright, looks like we made it. Hey, hop on! Oh, we're back on these people again. Now, I'm a cheating son of a bitch. I basically just moved Diablos, so, uh, yeah. We, we won't get any encounters. I think that was a pretty good idea. I think it was on Zell? Yes. And then auto to attack, and then put encounter number back on. Ha ha! Okay. But yeah, this is definitely one of the, if not, if not the most tedious part of the game, definitely one of them. Like, without a friggin' doubt. Like, I... I don't really know what they were thinking. I don't think we need to go in here. I think we probably need to go down the other path that we were trying to go down before, like up here. Yes. But yeah, like so much backtracking and all the floors are the same, besides like the very top one. Um, yeah, safe point. Get the feeling we got a boss coming up. Don't remember if that is the case, but it wouldn't surprise me. So, I'm gonna save just in case. Um, I would imagine we have to activate this. Or not, I guess we just go up here then. Actually, I think I do remember what boss we have coming up. If if we do have one. I think basically, I don't want to be too spoiler but I think it's kind of like two slug-looking things. Maybe I'm wrong. What the bloody hell do I do now? Uh, I guess I go over here. I really don't remember much of this part. Oh, yeah. Where are baby? 
Prisoners may not go beyond this point. You'll be terminated. They're coming! Oh, great. Two of those dicks. And a Biggs wannabe. Is Biggs right? You're not going anywhere. GF! Go, Wilfred. Do my bidding. And let's see if anyone's got anything to steal like you. Ah, uh, well, you do, but not what we want. Actually, we should try and haste a couple of people. Let's try and do this. Or haste and cast it on us. Yeah. Speaking of haste. Ha ha! I love the speed up button. God, it's glorious. There we go. All right, draw haste again. Cast it. No, shit. No, I need a boost. God damn it. Trying to... Ah! I guess I'll do the haste after this. Yeah, yeah, you boost that shit. Hmm. Love it, don't you? Not the greatest boost in the world. Anyway, draw... Uh, draw haste. Cast it on Zill. Okay. All right, that guy's down. Ooh, why did you change color? He wasn't always that color, right? Did he haste himself or something? I can't tell. He doesn't look like he's moving any quicker. Hmm. Weird. All right. <laughs> Look how quick Zell is. Well, let's use the speed up button. Whoop! Efforts. Uh, quest goal, I guess. And then brothers. Oh, now you're gonna get it. Holy shit! Did that kill my GF? Good God! All right. That was a god awful boost. Really bad. Yeah, I didn't even do a thousand one of them. Let's change back again. I don't know why they changed color. I really have no idea. Anyway, I would imagine Ifrit's probably going to kill him. If I don't screw up the boost again. Which I already kind of have. Please. Ah, this is going to have a terrible, but terrible. God damn it. It still might kill them, though. I don't know if they're going to be any tougher than the one we fought. I would imagine probably not. Because, I mean, this ain't boss fight music. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. Oh, so it was a boss because we didn't get any XP. That's weird. All right. Hey, school. Can you hear me? No. Hey, hey, you guys. Is this what you were talking about? What if school and the others have already gone ahead? I can hear you. See, I told you we'd be all right. School, go ahead and operate the arm. How? Yo, leave that one to me. He was Ward, remember, and his dreams and shit. Alrighty then. We'll be there in like a second. Wait right there. Sure takes a while, doesn't it? So what? What's the rush? Looks like that'll be just fine. Fine, just fine. Okay, do we go this way now? Do we go back for them? I don't know. I'm gonna assume we go this way. Probably backtrack for the save point, but is it really necessary after what we just did? I doubt it. Aha! Uh -huh. I love it when they do the random cutscenes like this mixed in with the gameplay. It's so cool. Ah. Oh. This reminds me of something. Well, what the hell is this? We still can't go anywhere. No way! When it came in earlier, it wasn't like this. Let's just head for the structure over there. Okay, I sure hope nothing bad happens whilst we're doing that. Something bad's probably gonna happen. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Oh god, you have to sail across, don't you? School, hold on! Over here, hurry! I'm a-coming. I'm a-coming. Slowly but surely. Oh god, please don't kill me. I think you can actually die at this part if you're not quick enough. I mean... What do, what do I do now? Oh god! School! School! Did I just think I died? What happened? What's going on? I went to the right. What more do you want from me? If I was supposed to press a button, they didn't tell me. We get game over. What's going on? Okay. That was way too dangerous, wasn't it? Yeah. 
I thought the arms were moving kind of slow. They had the, the submerged system on. I have no idea what happened. Let's just get going. I want to ride the yellow one. I'll take that one too. You, you're choosing to go with selfie? Okay, me too. Oh, all the ladies in there. Hey, 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 ladies! Let's go, Irvine. Or Irvin, whatever your damn name is. Guess we got the Sausage Fest mobile. Look, I'm just guessing we survived, alright? I, I don't know. That was a weird jump cut. Still in the desert, apparently. Hmm. What? The sorceress is about to launch missiles at Garden. That's why Renoa heard from Irvine. The only thing we can do now is go back to Garden as soon as possible and warn the students. Alright, let's get in the car and go. They're targeting both Balam and Trebia Gardens. We have to interfere with the launch, we have to stop the missiles. Uh huh. Well, uh, whilst we do that, I'm gonna draw. Oh, arrow. Yoink. I don't think that's actually air damage. I think there's more than one level of arrow? I don't know. What the hell are you doing over here, Zell? I'll do whatever score decides. Oh, we have to make a decision, right? So, like, I understand how Selfie feels, but... This isn't just about Selfie. Hmm, the missile-based plan, you should go talk to Selfie. Alright, I will do that. Ahoy. Just transferred here from a Trabia Garden. I can't just sit around knowing that Trabia Garden is in danger. So, school, please, decide who's gonna go to the Galbadia missile base before it's too late. It's easier said than done, what if something happens to the party members I choose? Let's take a vote! Score would decide on the party, the score will return to Balan because he's the leader. Anyone against this plan, please raise your right hand. I don't mind which team you put me on. But you're an outsider. You're the leader, score. What are the teams? Leader? I never asked to be the leader. Yeah, there goes the missiles. I heard they were hitting Trebia first, and then Balam. GG, Trebia. GG. Trebia, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop it. Please let everybody be alright, please. I'll be honest, they're probably fucked. That was a miss... right? Uh, sure. School, we have to report to Balam. Who are you taking? Come on, Squall! You have to choose- Alright, fucking let me choose it! Squall, think carefully now. I've had it up to here with this later thing. Alright, alright, I'll choose. So this is who's going to Balam, right? I don't know. Fuck it. We'll take Renoa, we'll take uh, Zell, because that's who we were using anyway. To hell with it! I'm on the missile base infiltration team. I have to be. They launched missiles at my Trabia. This team will now head for Balam, the rest rushed Sean Corey. To the missile base. Should I go with this? Fucking hell, why not? I don't really know what the difference is. I mean, I think you do have to play as the two different teams when they get split up. So, I guess, really, you don't want to put all your big guns, no pun intended, on the same team. But, I kind of have. Because the other three are a bit crap compared to us, but whatever. This mission is unlike any other. It's not an order or a quest from anyone. Selfie, do you have some kind of plan? I think if we take this Galbadia, uh, Galbadian army vehicle, we should be able to make it inside the base. But that's about it. I'll have to think about the rest once we're inside. Do you think that'd be okay? I'm sorry, I mean, thanks. There's much time. You better hurry to Balam Garden. See you at Balam Garden. Oh, I did it. Yeah, take time, school. It's not school, Zell. Take time, Zell. We ain't in a rush or anything to try and save our homeland, you son of a bitch with your stupid hair and your face tattoo. You are never gonna get a job, you know. Not, not in like an office or anything like that. In like public relations, it's not gonna happen because they're gonna see your gross tattoo on your face like Mike Tyson. They're gonna be like, we're not employing a man like that because they don't have like tattoos on your own. School, hurry! Take a row of the missile base now. Let's take that train. Okay, is there a save point around here? Because Jason would love to save the game. Can I walk out and save the game, perhaps? Don't look like it. Alright, well, we'll go into the next save point, then. Wherever the hell that may be. Probably on the train. How do I get on the train? The train looks like it's over here. Um, hello? Oh, you can walk around there, of course. Um, hmm. 
Oh, there's a couple of dudes over there. Galbadian soldiers. Interesting. Ah, yeah, I vaguely remember this. Yeah, okay. Whoop whoop! Hey, stop! Your school! Some dorks coming after us! So stop the train! Ah, come on! Hey, this guy's not bad! Ah! <laughs> Latest one! <laughs> Oh, I love this game. Come on, to the missile base! Alrighty, so that's what we're gonna be doing next time. Next time we're gonna go to the missile base, kick some ass, chew bubble gum, but roll out of gum. I, there you go. Oh, we're playing a selfie and co now. Alright then. Uh, but yes, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, I always appreciate a like. And I will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VIII. Goodbye!